Hey, uh, this is Brett. Hey, it's Dave. What's up, guys? This is Ben. This is Kevin. And we're the CPP, as you know, and we are sitting up here at the Big Bottom Tap Room. He asked us to come up and do what? It's Tap Taker? Yeah, I do. PA Tap Takeover. Bob drives all around the state, collects taps from uh, several other breweries, and brings them back here to showcase them for a weekend. Yeah, as they say, we're here at the Big Bottom at 6 Tristan Drive in Dillsburg and enjoying ourselves so far. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what are some of the taps that he got that are not his? Well, we got guest tap with 40 of them in here. Anything, uh, Broken Chair, Karma, Karma's a Bitch, Mellow Mint, uh, New Trail is uh, Back Cast, South County, uh, Brew Gentlemen's Imprint Beer. They're all over. Wow. All over. Chatty Monks, Church Brew Works, a couple out from Pittsburgh area as well. Four Mans, yeah. He What's up, around, Dave? He went around the state. Yeah. What's up, Dave? What are you drinking? Uh, drinking something called uh, the Discipline and Fire and Demise. It's a uh, barrel aged stout with a little bit of uh, pepper in it. Pepper? Yes. Yeah, it is. It, it's it, pretty good. It's got some bite to it. What kind of pepper? I think it's a crushed red. Crushed red. It's, it was really good. It's, um, it's, it's not overly bitey. It's really good. I was uh, I was drinking the uh, whale oil beef hooked, and we had that on our episode I think last year or sometime, and we were all trying to figure it out. You knew what it was, didn't you? Yeah, I figured it out. It wasn't the best with the accent, but <laughs> maybe we'll get uh, Bob over here to talk a little bit about the we all be fucked beer. Right. Oh, oh, look at that! We got Bob here. here. Yeah. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? My way. <laughs> I'm drinking the uh, Big Bottom Big Booty Blonde Ale. Big Booty Blonde. Yep. So we'll get uh, we'll try and get some uh, people on here. Um, I know we'll try and get the, uh, Bob in here to talk about why he did this. This is what you, he was on your live episode. What two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Yeah. This is his third third one third edition of this tap takeover. Yeah. And I forget why he said he did it, but I think it's pretty quiet. Absolutely. And uh, like I told him on the live episode, it's uh, you see a lot of stuff from breweries in PA doing uh, PA and in, or Philly invades Pittsburgh and yeah. vice versa. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of uh, places put on something like this for the whole case, to, the whole state to get showcased at, at one venue. So it's a nice, uh, nice gesture from Big Bob and. Um, Goodness, he got. I think he's doing it for the whole weekend. Friday night they had a drag bingo event, and then we got sports on the TV. We got a good crowd here today. So. Yeah, it's a nice crowd. How's it going, Steve? Yeah. Might have to squeeze over here, Ben. Get him. We on are. Camera. Yeah, yeah. Come on right in. Come on in. Throw that headset on if you'd like, and we're just gonna kind of share this. Uh, share this microphone, interview style. A little over. A little over here. There we go. There Steve, we go. thank you for joining us, man. I don't know if you've heard a lot about us. We are Central PA Poor. We're a craft beer podcast primarily, focusing on uh, brewers, breweries, entrepreneurs in the area. So thank you for joining us. Why don't you uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself? All right. Uh, my name is Steve. I'm the, the primary brewer here at Big Bottom. Uh, been here since 2019. Um, got into home brewing roughly 2014. Um, I've always been the kind of guy that's like, if I can't do something myself, I don't enjoy it as much, like music. Uh, you know, I, I always have to like learn how to play my favorite song kind of a thing, brew my favorite style of beer. And uh, yeah, it just kind of grew from there. And, you know, got into a local homebrew club and made the right connections. And uh, I ended up landing here and uh, been here ever since. So. That's, that's pretty cool. So, y'all, Yo, you just take You can keep that. it. You can keep okay. it. Um, so every, homebrewing and then you got here. Mm -hmm. um, what was your primary job before? Uh, I worked for the state as a park ranger. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow. Cool. So you gave out the park ranger to no, do I'm this? still doing it. Oh, you still, still doing it? it. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's pretty cool. So. What, uh, what home brewing, what, uh, home brewing club was that? Uh, Sons of Alchemy. Oh, okay. Was, yeah. We've wasn't Brooks that. in that? Brooks yes, was he in was. that one. Okay. Yep. Um, yep. I, I remember right there was a lady that came up with the, the chocolate coconator or something. Yep. Chris and Richards. Yes. Um, Steve Knott, Brewer Cold Springs, is uh, another one. Uh, Matt owns Mellow Mink, came from there. 
Uh, a lot of guys went pro out of that club, so it's a, some good lineage. You guys still partake in that? Yeah, not as much as I used to, because uh, you know juggling two jobs and doing it on the professional side, like it's still fun. But you know you don't want to always be immersed in it. You know what I mean when you're doing it like as a profession of sorts. You know. So. That's pretty cool. Uh, which so one of the beers I think Dave has here. Which one was that one? <laughs> that was the. Uh, go ahead, tell tell him. Oh. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, it's it. number 25. I have to actually read it. I don't remember. It's the, oh, the Discipline of Fire and Demise. Discipline of Fire and Demise. Oh, you knew it exactly yeah. as, soon as, yeah. as soon as I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, yeah, uh, Bob said you got an award with that. Yeah, it was uh, first place at the, in the barrel age category at the farm show this year. Um, I uh, aged it in a sew tool barrel, which is, I never heard of it before I went and bought the barrel. But, uh, it's, evidently, it's a uh, plant similar to like agave. It's almost like a tequila-like uh, spirit, imparts like earthy and citrus notes to the, to the beer. And, uh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He told me to be careful with it, so he only gave me a six ounce pour. I mean, because... yeah, it's a little high octane. And yeah. If you don't like spice, you might not like it uh, too spices. much. But it's not as much as it was last time. I'm gonna have to maybe dial it in a little more. But uh, yeah. Yeah, the spice is the spice is good. It's just I was just a little bit worried about. He said it was uh, 10%? ten percent. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, I, I, I needed to finish doing what I was doing. Yeah, right. Before I went to sleep. <laughs> yeah. So do you uh, err on the traditional side of, of brewing or, or do you uh, like to kind of freestyle a little bit? I do a little bit of both. Um, I mean, I like, a, I like to make a traditional Pilsner, you know, like bare bones stuff sometimes. But, uh, you know, when I first started brewing, I was like, you know, IPA everything. Like, I would, I would assume that many people were the, were the same way themselves. Um, but I, I like to do uh, like barrel, uh, barrel fermented sours and things like that at home, and you know, lambics, you know, two-year lambics, things like that. Um, I like to do a lot of farmhouse. You don't really see a, it doesn't really seem to be much of a market for farmhouse style beers down here in Dillsburg for uh, whatever reason. So we don't really do them here. Um, they just kind of sit when I make them. But uh, oh boy. Yeah. And, and that's, I was just telling, I think, like, the uh, farmhouse ales, like the Cezans and, and Peter Guards, is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. They're starting to make a comeback. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're, and some of the other styles that are not, like, cream ales are coming back. I was right. just going to say that. that. Yeah. And anything, what's your favorite one to brew? Here or just styly, stylistically, anything. generally speaking? Uh, well, here my favorite beer to pr brew is probably... Um, just any of the barrel age stuff that I do, like the big stouts, I, I really like doing that. Um, and uh, as far as uh, like brewing the stuff I would like to make at home, probably the uh, like the long term like mixed culture sours probably be the thing I'm mean, most experimental funky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I try to make my own like house strains, so to speak. You know, I'll take like a little bit of Brett from you know. From this, uh, from this manufacturer and like, you know, mix it with something else and, you know, uh, some dregs out of like a Cantillon or something like that that I got my hands on a few years ago. Um, just, just stuff like that, you know. That's pretty cool. And how long have you been up here now? Uh, since 2019. So, okay. yeah, come, coming in on four years. Any, no, no, I just said it. Good. Any uh, new beers you got you want to maybe say you're getting ready to brew or... Well, um, are, you, are they all secret? Nah, it's no secrets here. Um, <laughs> I did a uh, test batch of a uh, lemon meringue sour a couple weeks ago, and it went over pretty big. So I've got a full batch of that going right now. Um, I have a. Uh, I'm probably gonna keg it tomorrow. I have a uh, another big barrel aged stout with uh, maple syrup that one of my uh, coworkers, our family, makes out on their farm in Westmoreland County. That's so good. And uh, some coffee in it, like I think. Guatemalan, I believe, was the was the, the roast uh, the type of coffee. Um, good. Yeah, and just you know, just the, the typical fare you know that, that we usually have here. So, what do you feel about the tap taker? I think it's a great idea. Uh, uh, just the, the way it came about, like Bob, you know, Bob as as typically is the case with him, he just gets an idea and he runs with it, and next thing you know, it becomes something big. You know. It started out, he's just driving around, you know, down in like the Philly and Pittsburgh area, just like buying six of beer off people, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we were in a lot of places last year and he's like bartering with people at Forest in Maine while the brewery is still under construction, <laughs> trying, to get, trying to buy half barrels off the guy. He's like, I'll give you a couple cases of beer, you know. 
But uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's a great it's a great event. Uh, you know, and it puts the focus on Pennsylvania breweries, and you know, there's a lot of good ones in Pennsylvania, especially uh, you know, like Brew Gentleman specifically. You know, he keeps getting their stuff, and uh, uh, what's the um, Dancing Gnome? I don't think he has that this year. Uh, he did last year. You know, when he gets his hands on that, it's, it's good stuff. You know, it's cool. So, yeah. Plus, you said uh, twenty. Uh, Cold Springs is here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we well, maybe get it, get them to come over here and say hi. And, yeah, I can send him up. Yeah, I appreciate it, Steve, sitting down with us a little bit. And, yeah, uh, tell us a little bit about you. And yeah, man, we want to get Bob and you mm-hmm. and do a full sit-down interview in our studio. Yeah, that's so we'll come up we can with make a that date. We'll dive a little bit more into your history, your background, and everything. Okay, this is fun. I mean, we got Ben got the call like, hey, out of the blue. Yeah, really. Up here I, and do this, I so. spoke with Bob last last spring, really, mm-hmm. and then uh, he called me a few weeks ago. So come on down. So we appreciate the opportunity. We appreciate your time. Yeah, Sit down with us, so man. Yeah, we're trying to. I'm, I, we're trying to make this live. I don't know. It's. I don't know if it's working. We'll figure <laughs> it out. We're, we're not <laughs> tech geeks here, man. We're yeah. we got real time yeah. jobs, and this right. is just on the side fun stuff. Man. Yeah, understood. Uh, if not, this would definitely go out as a. As a I have, I have a couple of people out there. I'm check, checking to see if they see it yet. So. No, it ain't there. I'm oh, checking. No, it's, it's all good. Yeah. It's okay. all good. But appreciate it, Steve, for yeah. sitting down with us. And uh, I need another fucking refill. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? Well, I had the, the, the We All Be Fucked Red Ale. <laughs> I gotta That's, try something different. Almost had it. Yeah, a lot of people don't get it. So I'm like, come on, say it a couple times. You'll figure it out. You we, know? <laughs> he brought it to one of our beer nights. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he knew what it meant, but I'm not good at that mad gab stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. But like you said, once we knew what it was, it yeah. made sense. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty, pretty cool. Okay, that, what do you recommend? Is that your idea? Uh, uh, I had a buddy who went on vacation to Ireland a few years ago, and he was like, he's like, he, he brought that back to me. I'm like, oh, that works. That's a great name for an Irish red. And, you know, cause sometimes I'm just drawing a blank, and I'm like, yeah, it's, it's a stupid, you know, not a pun for, per se, right. but... Yeah, it works. You know what I mean? It's it's different and unique. Yeah. So what do you recommend off your tap list? Uh, I really, I mean, it's not exactly an easy, uh, like, an easy sipper, but, uh, I mean, it's like, what, 11 and a half. But uh, the Up All Night, the barley wine, that's a solid one. Um, That was barrel-aged as well. Uh, That one's got an interesting story behind the name. Like, we literally, this was the first time we made it back in uh, 2020. We actually brewed from like eight o'clock in the evening until like one o'clock the following afternoon. So that's how it got the name because uh, with that system, like to get high gravity and, you know, get your alcohol content up, uh, you really start a game of diminishing returns once you get over like 1080. So the solution was, aside from the fact that we had to fill a 55 gallon barrel, you know, was to brew twice and condense it down and you know what I mean? So it takes quite a while to do that. So that's a marathon of sorts and yeah, it was a cool experience. And That's a cool name. Man. Like you said, it yeah. took a lot longer than what you were expecting. No, oh, no, we were pretty much expecting it to oh, take that long. We planned it out <laughs> that way. But uh, yeah, it was it was cool. It was fun. It was cool. But uh, it's good beer, and uh, yeah, it'll put some hair on your chest. You know what I mean? I think I'll do a half <laughs> pint, not a full pint. There you go. I think I think they're only doing eight ounce pours anyway. So. All right, that's cool. I, I can handle an eight ounce pour. No. So. Steve, I appreciate you sitting down with us, man. This yeah, is, not uh, a problem. It's been fun. Uh, we're hoping to maybe get some other people out here, even some patrons, just to sit down and say hi and what they're drinking off the tap list. So. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll send St- his. He's also Steve, the uh, the brewer from Cold Springs. I'll send him over. Yeah, send so. him over. Cool. We'd be happy to get him. I yeah. appreciate it. So thank you. Right on, guys. Appreciate it. Nice meeting you. Thanks for yep, joining thank us. You. <laughs> All right, so hey, we we're back here. Uh, we got who who we have sitting here we with? We haven't us? even met yet. Well, I'm so, John O'Brien. John, John O'Brien. John O'Brien. I run the Keystone Contractors Association, and I have a podcast. It's called the Building PA Podcast. All right, we'll have to look into that and then put that uh, out there with this, uh, so they can click on your YouTube and give yep. you a follow. So, what brings you to the tap taker? I dropped my daughter off from work. She's washing dishes, <laughs> and I saw you guys set up and thought you guys looked like fun, nice guys to hang out with. So. <laughs> You Grab got myself that, a right. beer. And well, here I got I beer. Definitely yeah. a good side. <laughs> so, what are you drinking off the tap? I got selection number twelve. I have Cinderella's. Where is it? Cinderella's beer? It's a hazy, hazy danger extreme IPA. Oh, so is first that, time trying it. Pittsburgh. I like it. Yeah. 
That's because uh, I'm getting ready to head to Pittsburgh here shortly, and there's a couple out there I want to get to. And I, I think that's one of them. Uh, Brew Gentleman's another one I want to hit out yeah. there. I lived in, in Pittsburgh. I grew up in Mechanicsburg, lived in Pittsburgh 20 years, moved back here six years ago, and I'd never heard of this place. So I'm thinking it, it's new within the past six years. Centerlands, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of new stuff in PA. Oh, yeah. I think there's uh, close to 500, I think, now. Yeah, it's growing quick. So, uh, so what made you want to start a podcast? Uh, we, we deal with a lot of uh, construction companies and the building trades. And, you know, we have a, a good story to tell. There's a lot of good companies. And workforce development is important. So we like to promote all the great uh, careers in construction. And we thought a podcast is a way to reach the younger generations. And we've been doing it now two years now. Two years, I guess. That, it sounds like it's got a little interest to it as far as you were talking before you sat down. More of like the legal side and, and the, the safety side of it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you know this or not, but there's way too many attorneys in construction. <laughs> and they all love to talk, you know, yep. so they're always coming on the, on the show. So. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And you've been doing it for about two years. About two years, 150 episodes. This, this week we dropped our 150th. Wow. That's a lot more than we have. Solid. A lot more. That's it. Yeah. So what's your next beer on the tap taker? I like the big bottom selections. Have you guys had Bob's yep. stuff? Yep. Yep. We've had Bob's. Uh, the, the whale oil beef hooked. Do you know what that stands for? No. Say it a little. Say it quick. Real fast. Real. So wait, your, your last name's O'Brien. So you've got a little bit of an Irish right there. Right? I do. Right? I do. So it, it's right up your alley. Whale oil beef hooked. <laughs> real fast. Real say fast. it real fast. <laughs> Where oil beef hooked? A little bit quicker. Where oil beef hooked? I can't get it. Uh, it took us a while, too. Yeah, yeah. How about we all be fucked? We all be fucked? Okay, I can see it now. Well, I can see. well I'll. Well, I'll be I fucked. Think. I'll be yes, fucked. I'll be fucked. Yeah. Well, but uh, put your little Irish accent to it. So this is, this <laughs> oh, is top of the morning. Yes, yeah. I hear you. <laughs> this is your weekend. It says. St. Patrick's Perfect. Day. It's our month. It's our month, yes. <laughs> Everybody has a month. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how, how was it? Lale Padre Sonadich. Oh, gosh. Lale Padre Sonadich. Happy St. Patrick's Day in Irish. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Oh, I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> you fooled me. Now, when it comes to Bob's beer, I'm kind of torn between the double bubble and the B3. Those are my, my two favorites. So you're an IPA okay. guy. I, yeah, I like them. So. The hoppier, the better. Yeah, I think so. That's up your alley, Ben. Absolutely. Have you had both B3 and... I have you, not. Which no. one did you have? The, which one did you start with today? The double big ball? Booty, big booty blonde. Oh, the blonde. The blonde. I was going to say B3 is kicked. I just tried to order it. So I was oh, wondering no. if you guys kicked it. No. <laughs> oh, no. Not here. Not, Not at all. <laughs> we, we were, I, I said we were, well, Steve was just on, and we were going to order the barley wine. So I told uh, Kevin's wife, Cindy, up there to get us number one. And it all came out. I'm like, well, that's not a barley wine. Well, I'm looking here now. We screwed up. Number one is the broken chairs. Uh, the number, yeah. yeah. I went from the top down. Got it. But it's quite a tap list that he has sitting up here at, uh, at Big Bottom. That's so. oh, beautiful. It's good. I live right across 15. So if I get desperate enough, I can just walk, walk over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're just a consumer of the beer? Or you ever dabble in home brewing or anything like that? Or? Never. I've had buddies that do it, and they keep trying to pull me in, but never have done it. No, it's expensive. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy drinking what they produce. You know? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Actually, we, we dabble in home brewing a little bit. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to brew an uh, English, English IPA. Okay. Uh, we, we did a red ale, an Irish red, and it came out really good. Was there a podcast episode on this? We did a, uh, a little one-minute... Well, we tried to do TikTok, a TikTok, TikTok thing. <laughs> we'll see. We don't. We didn't get. Uh, I think Bob's told us he, a story. He had like a little episode here last weekend, and it got like seven million views on the video. What? Well, when we get Bob to sit down, we'll have to see if he yeah. can talk about that a little oh bit. Oh my so, god! Wow. We're still going to get a couple of hundred, a yeah. couple of thousand. <laughs> yeah. So he had seven million in a week. Wow. But good stuff. So your 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 podcast. Yes. Um, you got a quite a following on that? So, we do. We uh, we run it through uh, Buzzsprout. I don't know if you guys use Buzzsprout at all. We, we, we've dabbled with Buzzsprout. Yeah, and the, the stats are pretty pretty solid, you know, good stuff. And 
apparently we get 150 or so downloads a week. We we drop an episode every week. So wow, yeah, we're doing twice a month. I couldn't, I can't keep up doing it weekly. <laughs> Ben's Ben's been doing the live weekly stuff, and it's it's. it's it's tedious doing it weekly. It is, it is, but it's all it's all for the good of the brand, really, and uh, it's it's a marketing game and finding your target audience. So it's so more to it than just talking. So whose idea was it for the podcast? Mine, probably this yeah. bonehead here. <laughs> We've got uh, three generations: Dave, Brett, and I, and my son Ben. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It was it was kind of our idea. We've been doing beer nights for a couple of years, and I came down with it from an idea from. My industry, automotive repair. Okay. I sat in on a podcast and did one. Mike was, shit, that was fun. Sat around a campfire and said, hey, I got this idea. Why can't we do a podcast with our beer nights? Ben goes, I'm in. Nice. Right off the bat. <laughs> hey, we, we didn't have no clue. We Dave has some audio background from being in a band. I was a DJ, but other than that, this has all been figured out piece by piece. That's cool. Work in, work in progress for two, I don't know, a year and a half, year two and a, years? A little over a year. Okay. Yeah. December of 21? Yes. December 21. 21 we started. I think we were that fall of 2020. Okay. I think, so we're a little ahead of you, a little bit. Yeah, so we're, we're still trying. I mean, we just got to find that right yeah. there to get us the viewership. So. Yeah, it's the, the guests have been more than... More yeah. than welcoming, you know, breweries from all over the region. That's cool. Generous with their time and, and beer. And uh, <laughs> well, we'll definitely have to drop the link to your podcast. And we'll, we'll do the to, same. We'll yeah. have to get it, get one from you what your link is. And okay. We'll drop that in this episode. Drop the name, drop the socials one more time. It is the Building PA Podcast. You can find us on, you name it, Apple, iHeart. All the good stuff. St- Stitcher, I think, is one. Yeah. Uh, there's all these Spotify, you name it. You know, so it's. it's is it good. audio only? We just started last month. We just started recording and doing doing what you guys do. We okay. get the videos now. And, but this is because I'm I'm based here in Dillsburg, right across 15, like I said. And then my my partner, the co-host, is in Pittsburgh. And then our guests have been. We've had a guest in Ireland. Speaking of St. Patty's Day. Uh, we have guests all over the country. You know, construction doesn't really have a lot of podcasts. So when word right. spreads, all these different contractors, different attorneys. We had attorneys from LA call and saying, "Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Can we get on?" So wow. Hey, Kev, you may have to get your uh, boss on his podcast. <laughs> I see. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so uh, he works for a big company out of Germany. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Nice. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So I appreciate you taking a couple minutes. And you say your daughter's here at work? She's working. She's washing the dishes and pulling pizzas out. And just right. Bob's keeping her busy. Whatever that's Bob cool. needs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking a few minutes. Sit down with us. Uh, good luck with the rest of your podcast. And you guys as well. I look forward to promoting yours and listening to yours. And uh, Thank you. We yeah. appreciate it. Central PA Poor and uh, for short, the CPP. The CPP. All right, I'm down with the CPP. There you That's go. It, That's perfect. Perfect. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> Our motto is we're all bonded by beer. Nice. That's I'm down with that. <laughs> Cheers. 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 To the Irish. <laughs> so we got Bob, the big man, sitting here with us for a few minutes. Uh, Keep him busy, he is. <laughs> yeah, so you're, busy. You're, you're, uh, you're doing... So your place is pretty busy today. Yeah, yeah, we had work. it's a good weekend with the PA tap takeover, a lot of the beer and other stuff going on. And you, you, you went and got all this from what I, you when you had the live episode with Ben. This is your idea, your baby. You go and get this, right? Yeah, I just go pick it all up around the state, bring it back, try to find new breweries, little breweries, do have you, fun with it. Do you do uh, the same brewers, or do you kind of try and get different ones? Usually when I go to one, I always say, hey, is there anybody new in town? Oh, yeah, down the street there. Okay. <laughs> so I go down there. It's old. <laughs> now, are they, pretty, are they pretty receptive to the idea? Oh, yeah. They like, look at you like, you want to do what? And I said, it's going to sell six year beer, a six hole of your beer and promote your product. They're like, for free? No, I'll pay for the beer. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been told no? Nope. <laughs> no. Especially when you're buying it, right? Yeah, it's, I'll pay for it. We just like to have fun, and it'll get them some advertisement, but it gets people in our place to try. Right. I, I, I think when you did the episode with Ben, I mean, I sat there and watched it. It is the coolest idea uh, to do this on your own rather than, like, you know, we had 
Ben had mentioned the, the Brewers of PA does the Philly takeover and the Pittsburgh takeover. This is pretty cool. You brought it to Central PA. You're doing it. You go around the state. Yeah, I'm from Pittsburgh, so running out there ain't a big deal. And then just, you know, Reading, Sunbury, Danville, Philly. And right now there's a, there's a lot to choose from. Oh, shit. Yeah, a whole lot. <laughs> oh, can I say that? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, hey, Bob. Hey, whatever you want. Bob, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, and now we're talking. <laughs> So that's pretty cool that you do this, and this is the third year, and is it is it growing with your people coming in that are just for this, or is it just the regulars? No, it's growing. We get a lot of people in. We actually have two girls who have done it three years in a row. They were here last night. They do all 40. Oh, they do all 40 taps. Oh, yeah, they do samplers. They do 10 samplers. Are they walking out of here? Or oh, are they yeah, Ubering they, they love wow. it. They come down and laugh and giggle, and I always have to give them something because they're the only ones that do it. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge. Oh. I tell you what, uh, that's pretty cool, though. I mean, uh, I'd do all 40. I think uh, you're driving home, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> so how did the uh, drag bingo event go? Oh, that was terrific. It was fun. We had probably had 100 people in here. I had to get dressed up, so I had my dressing wig on. And we had a great time. It was. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You're a tall guy. Did you have elevator heels on? No. Two of the <laughs> two of the girls, you may call it, were taller than me. Oh wow. One was like six eight. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a tall woman. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> so when we got here earlier, you told us a little bit about a video. I don't know if you want to mention that. Oh, Jesus. It went yeah. viral. Uh, yeah. Last Saturday, well, we'll have music tonight. Last Saturday, I'm sitting where the guy was. To my left, I'm standing there videotaping, and I don't know. He just sort of attacked me, and you can't do that. And I said, yes, I can. And he went after me. I held him back, and I showed my son the next day. I said, check this out. This guy attacked me. He goes, Oh, you got to put that on TikTok. And I'm like, you got to do what on where? <laughs> and uh, a week, this is a week today, and we have 7.4 million views. Oh, Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, well, you, there's a follow-up to yeah, that. Yeah, and then my son, he's, he knows how to do this. He's an influencer. He said, so he interviewed me that night sitting on a couch, and I had to tell the whole story. And because people were saying, oh, it's fake, it's set up. No, it wasn't fake. And uh, that's up to 1.6 million views. Wow. Jesus. That's all we need. We just sounds need like something I'm, like that. Sounds like I'm fucking you up somewhere <laughs> on we're camera. Right. That's Somebody what you just... said. We're getting into a fight tonight yeah, somewhere. We're find somebody in here. <laughs> what we need to do is pick a fight with Bob. That's uh, all. Oh, well, yes. I'm in. You don't need that. That's okay. I, I, already, I already paid somebody. You just yeah. don't know who he is. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Our legal team advises against that. That'll take some choreography on that one. <laughs> So this is pretty cool, Bob. I appreciate you inviting us up here. Absolutely. Uh, Steve sat in here, your brewer, and it was it, it was cool. You, yeah. you can tell he's passionate about what he's doing. He here. really is. He's funny. I make fun of him, but God love him. He makes good beer. I don't know if you guys tried a lot of them, yeah. but oh yeah, try them all. I, actually, fun. we messed up. He said about trying the barley wine, so we I yelled over to Kevin's wife, "Get us number one, the up all night." And then yep. this comes out, and I'm like, broken chair. That's not a barley wine. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. It, oh, is, yeah, it, is. it was it very good. good. The it broken good. chair. That's in Reddit. Neat good. little place. But we're gonna be we're gonna be doing the up all night because I'm like, the way he said it was like 11 percent, and they're only doing it. I said that's a full pint, but that, that don't look like a barley wine. It's the first thing I said too as well. But we're gonna be trying that one. So he did he did recommend that. Dave, kudos him on that. The, the spice one that you gave Dave him and Sam. Yeah, the fire and demise. Yeah. 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 So we appreciate this. This is fun. We did try to live stream it, Bobby. I couldn't get it to work. Huh? Whatever. So I'll get it launched and we're gonna I'll let you know when it I'm gonna do it in the next day or two, so I'll let you know when it's out. All right, cool. And we'll have to get a date. You're busy, I know I'm gonna have to let you go because you're back here, you're you got a slinging pies. Slinging pies. There yeah, we go. Right. Slinging pies. Slinging <laughs> pies. You guys want one? I'll well, make I, you something. I do gotta take a stromboli home, but yeah, I'm gonna get something to eat. So I gotta go. take a stromboli home. My wife knows about Al's when it was here when Al's pizza. Right. She goes, Oh, bring a stromboli home. So I'll be ordering a stromboli to go. 
but we appreciate you sitting in here with us for a few minutes, and uh, we'll, we'll let you get back. So I think you've got a birthday party back here. Yeah, you got live got, music yeah. getting ready to set yeah, up. Yeah, they should be. Oh, they're setting up, yeah. Vertigo Vultures. Vertigo okay. Vultures. I need your keys. Oh, it, no, oh. Do Anybody? you want to sit? you have a couple minutes yeah, to sit? Yeah. I wish I did. Okay. <laughs> that's Sam. She's our beer snob. Yeah, that's the beer snob. <laughs> that's right. She drives the main in Vermont to get beer. She won't so be on chase your, wow. On your Facebook, you you're, you had people, you called them like your beer your beer elves or something that went and got the stuff on your Facebook post when oh, they did the tap Yeah, paper. I had a couple friends who were running around and said, hey, and they all like doing it because then they get free beer. So they, they go in and try a couple beers, and then they bring the beer back. And what did you call them? They're beer elves? Is that what they, is yeah, that what you they call Yeah, they help out. That's pretty cool. So um, how long has it, you guys have been open up here in Dillsburg? I've been here 15 years now. 15? Oh, wow. It's been a brewery since 16. 16? Yeah. Okay. But I took it over in 07. It was Al's Pizza. Okay. And you still cut the, the Al's Pizza part of the of Yeah, the big you bottom? have to because some people are like, oh, my God, no. So we call it Big Bottom Brewery, home of Al's Pizza. There we go. I can, I can see him driving in a refrigerated truck. I'll give you two six packs for one year six. Uh, <laughs> we can barter. Welcome yeah, right. to bartering. Right. I don't know if you see our back. I have a beer truck. It has eight taps, refrigerated. Oh, we can pull up to your oh, house. Start so you beer. guys do that as well. Yeah, we do events. Do events. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Oh, that's wow. pretty cool. And I didn't I see know that. It. Yeah, I didn't either. How's uh, the trailer coming? Uh, the trailer for the stage. Yeah, I'm working on that part now. So in the summer, we do bands outside all summer long. Yeah, I saw that out back. You got a nice little area back here with tables and stuff for an outdoor venue. Yeah, we block the parking lot, and people come over with their lawn chairs and drink and have fun and have bands all summer long. On Friday, usually all Saturdays, sometimes Fridays. That's pretty cool. So we're going to definitely have to be uh, get you guys down to do a full sit-down episode. We're going to have to promote some of this, That's him there. more of this. That's Steve. Yes. From Cold Springs. I thought he left. He I thought he left. He so moved, we no, he, he moved from the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, we'll tell him hey, when he, sit down, we when he comes it. out of the pisser, you grab him. You I'll trip sit him. Down. <laughs> you see, he can't walk straight, so I'll <laughs> trip him. He'll fall. <laughs> we'll go then you get your bike. We can go viral. Yep. We got it all right. covered. Oh, there we go. Hell of a plan. Bob, thanks again for having us up here. Oh, thanks, thanks for, for coming. Doing this. Uh, we'll let you get back to what you were doing. You're a little busy tonight. Yeah, it's going to get busy for a while. That's what makes it fun. All right, buddy. Well, I appreciate you taking a couple minutes to sit with us. All right. Thanks, thank, gentlemen. Thank, thank you, you for letting us here. Yep. Yep. We'll see oh, we get Steve. Yeah, we can see you. So you're Steve right. from Cold Springs. That's right. So you guys are just getting ready to open back up, right? We opened on Thursday. And you guys closed during the winter and reopened in the spring. For the past two years, correct. All right. Is that yep. going to continue to be the plan, or is that going to be something? You know, that's year by year. Depends on the weather and help and everything else, probably, like everybody else. Is yeah, there's a there's a lot of variables, yeah. So, hey, we, we appreciate you stopping in here to sit with the Central PA Four. Sure. Thanks for having me. We'd like to get you guys on to do a full episode, but Ben was over, I guess, talking to you. He has a little, he said, you're going to like this story. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah. So, so from what I understand, you're working on a new type of brewing. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to walk away with his headset on. Oh, he's yeah. About, <laughs> he's about to flip the whole damn table over. This should be. Where the hell did he tuck that thing? He's got it wrapped in his beads and everything. What kind of, where wow. does beads come from? Uh-oh. Oh, my. All right, so what were we talking about, a new type of brewing? Well, well, the friends that we were sitting with, um, one of them used to work for the, the PA prison system, and she was telling me about uh, prison hooch, and I was intrigued. I said, we have to try this, like... And, and she she left her job. So um, I, I thought, we need to try this, like, on a small scale and, and you know, just see what these guys are doing because they have to be ingenious to, to brew, like, in the toilet or it, it, whatever. Out of sight. Yeah, out of sight. So, I, you know, I, I want to try it. And, and she just told me about it. Maybe twenty minutes before I met Ben. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this is not this is this isn't something you have. This is just like an idea that just popped in your head it, after it, the it, it was a fresh idea. Yes. Yes. I tell you what, it almost sounds like some kind of meat. Well, 
you know, she was saying they use fruit, they use bread for the yeast, um, whatever they can for the sugar. I, I don't know. I mean, we have to get into it a little deeper, oh, but, that, I, but I want to try it. For uh, sure. I, you know what? And that's what the craft industry is about, trying yeah. new and different things is going to make something good hell yeah yeah right out of the toilet yeah and, and right you know, it toilet. might turn out to be shit no pun intended oh. but <laughs> <laughs> i ain't one of the ingredients no that's not one of the ingredients but you know you know something good may come of it yeah and you never know. know we've talked to uh, a couple of people with brewers and you know like the home brewers that we just had on the episode was uh they said, the thing about homebrewing, you can be creative, you can be funky, and if you do fuck a beer up, your mortgage don't depend on it. This is true. Now, yeah. being a commercial brewer is a different story. So, do we, you, if you're going to try this, you're going to try it on a small scale first? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, just on a homebrew scale. On a homebrew scale, yeah. which is, that's pretty cool. So, and you're still homebrewing? When I have the chance. Yes, when I have the chance. Yep. So are you involved with ownership there? Are you the owner or just brewer? Or what's, I'm what's not going the on? owner. I'm, okay. I'm the brewer. I have the title of the brewer. Kristen, who brews with me, is she's the brains. Okay. I mean, she brews good beer. You know, I, I, I brew okay beer. She brews good beer. We, we went up there, maybe it was last summer or the summer before, and uh, the beer was good, the food was good. Yeah. The, the atmosphere at Cold Springs along the Yellow Breaches is cool as hell. It, it's a great place in the summertime. You you guys should come out and do a do a podcast sometime in the summer, June, July, August. Yeah, because you got to you got the kayakers and stuff. First, and people, oh yeah, yeah. First time yeah. we're going on the water. Oh, that sounds cool. We're going to record right from the water. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> wait 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 wait. What are we doing? Recording from the water. Everybody gets their own yak. I got the kayak, I, I, I like, got the trailer. I, I, hook I like that idea. I mean, it, that sounds cool. We could sit in kayaks and <laughs> and sit out in the water and do this. That sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. Drink a beer. Shit, Drink a beer. I got my $10,000 camera in the water. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, you know, it's, all, it's like two feet deep. It's, yeah. Yeah. You can stand up if you fall over, so... So you guys, are you open currently, or are you getting ready to open? No, we open on we open Thursday. Okay. Yep. And is the plan to keep that thing open all all year long? Is that the goal, or is it just going to be how time goes and how things? So, you know, bi- business dies off for us because we're more of a destination. Right. So you know, it kind of dies off. You know, end of October, beginning of November, people come to us for the atmosphere. Yeah, it is cool. It's a very cool place to go. Uh, you know, when it gets cold out, you know, we enclose our lower deck and, and we have space inside, but we have more space outside than we do inside. So, you but, know, that makes a difference. So how long have you been with them? Since the beginning. Since the beginning. Yes. That's pretty cool. How'd you get involved? I'm friends with the family that own it, and they knew I was a home brewer. And when Chris bought the place, uh, he called me and asked me. He said, uh, "Hey, I just bought this building, and it used to be a bar. I want to make it a brewery. Are you in?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure. Why not?" That's cool. Did, so, do you have a regular full-time job in then this, or is that? I, I have my own business. Yeah. Oh, you have your own business. Yes. So. Yep. That's pretty cool. So you got you're dabbling on both sides. You're doing something fun that you like. Yeah, oh, and absolutely. make a pretty good beer, and you're going to make some prison hooch. <laughs> that's going to be an experiment. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that sounds interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but let's just hope the prison hooch is when you're on, when everybody's on this side of the prison wall and not on the other. Yeah, side. exactly. Right. <laughs> so you right. can experiment with it. Right, and well, you know, you it, it may never come to the public. But it's an idea. It's an idea. It's an idea. And that's where everything starts with yeah. an idea. That's right. It, that's you know, it might turn out something might turn out to be good. And we might make it a bigger batch, or it might just turn out to be crap, and it, it just never goes. And then anywhere. you still sell it. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> no, we don't. We don't sell crap. No, we, I know that. we we have dumped beer because it turned out to be crap. So that's what we like to hear, honestly. Yeah. yeah, it's all about the quality. Yeah, and and, and, and we yeah. found this story with a lie, and people have dumped beer. It didn't turn out the way you wanted it. Something yeah. went wrong, um, and that's part of the process. You don't know. Right, right. And, and if it's crap, we're, we're going to dump it. We're not going to sell it to people. No. But, you know, it's just not, it's not worth it. 
in yeah. many ways. Sure. No. Any uh, personal trials and tribulations going from the home brewing side to the commercial side? There's a learning curve for sure. But when we first opened, I'm going to say our beer was okay. It, it's it's way better now. But um, you know, just like anything, going from you know five or ten gallons to to 100 gallons or 300 gallons, yeah. there, there's a learning curve. Yep. So, what brings you to the big bottom tap taker? I just like to try different PA beers. Okay. So, which one have you tried tonight? I, I've tried several of them, I, and I, I, I've had I've had a few cream ales that I really like that are on this list. I, I'm not going to name any names, um, but I've had a few that are really nice. Well, nice beers. So, so have we. So have we. <laughs> it was a, it was an order we were trying to get the uh, up all night, which is what you just brought us. Really, yeah. really good. And I, I said. Like I want number one, and they come out. I'm like, well, that don't look like a barley wine. You know, it's number one on the tap is a cream yeah. ale. It's actually pretty good. Okay. It's Very a style good. that's coming back. Very cream ales are coming back. With yeah, it. absolutely. That's over the barley wine. So what's your next one you're going to try? There's a lot of IPAs on this list. Um, and honestly, I don't know. Is that your style? Is that where you like you like the IPA, the hoppy so, stuff? So I like the flavor of the IPA, but I but I really appreciate a good clean beer like a lager or a, a cream ale. Cool. So what got you into home brewing originally? I I used to be a baseball coach. Um, with my son growing up, I, I, I was an assistant coach and I was a head coach for a long time. And he went to college, he got a scholarship, and I was like, what the hell am I going to do now? So I, I started homebrewing and, you know, just took off from there. That's cool. So, Steve, we appreciate you taking a few minutes to sit with us. We'd love to get you guys on a full-time, full sit-down episode. Yeah, so I'll try and get yeah. with you before we leave. Okay. And get if not we can't come up with a date tonight, we'll get them up with a date with some down and down the road. Get yeah. you and your owners on and we talk about and feature you guys fully. And you and you can give us details on Pardon that me. on that podcast that we can do in the in the kayaks. Okay. <laughs> I, I like that idea. Okay, we yeah, we can figure that out. We can yeah, sit that, in, would, that would be cool. So on, on a good Saturday or Sunday, it's it's nothing to see 30 or 40 kayaks pulled up a, along our beach. That's awesome. You know, people that come in to just get a drink or get some food or whatever. Send a server out there in the water. Well, we've been we talked about it last year about having somebody with a little grill, one one of our guys with a little grill just serving burgers and dogs or whatever right down there and then having some beers. Sounds like a new style 50 drive-in. Yeah, yeah it is. on the water. <laughs> right, it is. Let me ask you this. Can you get a pontoon boat? No. Nothing. Nothing uh, I, I don't... I'm not sure that that creek's big enough for that. Yeah, it's not, that, it's not big enough for that. I mean, we I've, could, I've never seen it, but I, I was just I was just envisioning a pontoon boat with a with a bar and and people serving drinks to the kayaks yeah. as they pull up to the pontoon boat. But it's not like a lake. No, it's no. not. So on hot days like July, August, when it when we're done brewing, I might grab a lawn chair or something and go sit in the creek with a cold beer. Put the chair in the creek. Are you guys canning or bottling or something? Something quick for those kayakers? Or we, we did last year. I, I'm okay. not sure if we're going to do it this year. And we had somebody can it for us because we don't. We just don't have the space for a canning lot. Sure. Yeah. So, hey, appreciate you guys. Any more questions for Steve? No, oh, thank you. We're going to have to Enjoy get him it. on a full sit down. So. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's get to together and you guys come out and we can do it on the creek or we can do it right beside the creek. Whatever. Right, Either man. way. Yeah. Is, is, is uh, Kristen? Is that, is that her name? Kristen? Is yeah. she still here? She want, uh, any interest in sitting down? I, I think she's here. I'll ask her. Well, we appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate Thank you for your time. All right. Let's all be bonded by beer. All right, yes. For sure, man. Thank you. Take care. Thanks for your time, buddy. Yeah, thanks. All right. I, I all right. Yeah. So uh, we have Christine. Kristen. 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 I'm going to get it right. From Cold Springs. Cold Springs. So we got to hold, hold, have, that, hold, hold that real close. Mic. Closer? There we go. There, go. there we go. We're gonna, yeah. So you're a brewer. Yes. For Cold Springs. Yes, correct. 
That's good. So we're just going to have you hold the mic a little bit closer. <laughs> closer? There yeah. we go. There Perfect. we go. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. I've never done this before. So. That's, That's okay. fine. That's okay. Fine. So how, what got you into brewing? Um, I've been brewing since 1995. Oh, you've been brewing a long time. Yes. My uncle, my uncle got me into it. I did an extract batch, and I got bit by the bug. And just after my seventh batch, I started going into all grain brewing. And okay. maybe a couple years later, I started kegging. So, wow, that, yeah, that's school. pretty cool. Yeah, you know, I've been brewing for a long time. So, how, what got you in with Cold Springs? How how did that come about? Well, I've been friends with Steve Knott for years. We met at Rehab, Regional Harrisburg Area Brewers. Years okay, ago, and. We knew each other for years, and then he approached me back around 2018 about brewing, and coming in to help out, and then they opened the doors in 2019, and the rest is history. So Bob said you're the better at brewer. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty clear about no. that. Yeah, he was. He was pretty clear. So what brings you to, to Big Bottom for the tap taker? Well, we just got done brewing today. Okay. What? And we did a Belgian triple. Oh. Today. Yep. Oh, gosh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That'll be ready in a couple of weeks. But I understood there was a PA tap takeover today, so I have to stop by and get a couple of beers. So What's your favorite? Go. Right now I'm drinking Imprint number 14. Imprint puts out some pretty good shit. They do. They put out some really good stuff. Absolutely. So when you when you come to something like this and try something from outside our area, does it give you an inspiration? Like, how can I make that beer a little different? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Now, taking mental notes. That's cool. So you're making a Belgian trip. Oh, we're going we're gonna to make a road trip. Yeah. It's going to be about 10% ABV. I love triples. Yep. I love Belgians. I love triples, too. Belgian, my favorite styles. Yeah, Belgians are good. Uh, stouts, this barley wine is fantastic. Uh, this is number 22. This is Big Bottoms up all night. Yep. Steve's an amazing brewer, too. Steve Anderson. Yeah, so... Yeah, he sat down here, so you've been with them guys for a while. Five years. And what's your plan? Is, it, is, your, is that your future plan? Is this where I want to finish off? I want to be the best brewer, and I want to make Cold Springs beer the best it can be. Well, that's a good question. <laughs> so I still work a full-time job. Like my most of job. us, yep. Yep. So this is my fun part-time job. Okay. So I'm going to continue doing that for a year or so, and then we'll see what the future holds. What's full-time job? I sell propane. Propane. Commercial, okay. commercial propane. Okay. For UGI. Okay. Yep. And then you do this all on the side. This takes up some time. It does. So you just got done brewing today. Yes. So that's cool. So you, you just homebrewed for 20-plus years? Did you ever have any other inspiration to go into the commercial side of things? I was going to do my own thing for a while, and it just didn't work out. It just The timing wasn't right. And then, like I said, Steve asked me in 2018, and then we opened the door in 2019. And, but I was on the circuit for a while, too, as far as homebrew contests. I did right. a lot of contests and things like that. What's your favorite thing to brew? Belgians. Belgians? Belgians. Yeah, That's Belgians. your favorite. That sounds yeah. good. Yeah. So yeah, Steve. I'm sorry, go ahead. Saisons, triples, okay. Belgian IPAs, anything Belgian is my favorite. How about a barrel aged? No, I'm sorry. Pardon? <laughs> How about a barrel aged um, porter or barrel aged stuff? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so you're, right, you're right up our alley. The you're darker right the better. Well, my old, I shouldn't say my old homebrew club. The homebrew club that I was a member of that I don't have time to go to anymore, we did a 55-gallon Russian Imperial style in a um, barrel, a bourbon barrel. Absolutely wonderful. Oh. Yep. Ben, you were going to say something. I was going to say Steve had mentioned that from the days that Cold Spring opened their doors, the beer has improved significantly. Would, yes. you, would you second that? Absolutely. <laughs> how, how so? Give us, a, give us an example. Um, consistency. Yeah, we can nail down recipes. Consistency. So is, is it equal part your recipes, his recipes, or combination of both? Or? Combination of both. We, we talk, we'll talk through... A recipe if something if there's something we haven't done before we'll go out and buy some commercial styles we'll go to bgcp 
and look at the style, like the guidelines, and then between the two of us, we'll put together the recipe. That's cool. And then there's a program called Beersmith, yep. Yep. which yep. is how we build our recipes. We scale it up and then we knock it out. I'm using the Brews Father. Okay. Because uh, we we do home brew. We just took the leap to all grain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did it. We did an Irish red. It came out really good. I'm getting ready to do an English IPA. Nice. And my next one's a Scottish wee heavy. Ooh. That's what we're doing soon. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, next week. So, naming beers is always cool. Who comes up with the names? We both do. You both do. Yep. Some can may- maybe come from pop culture, like. The beer we just did two weeks ago, we're huge Rush fans, so we did a beer called Farewell to the Kings. Oh, oh it's California, nice. California Common. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. I'm a Rush. That's cool. Yeah, so the Irish Red, I, I came up with the name, Aaron Go Brawls. Uh, <laughs> I didn't come up with one for the other one, so we'll have to collaborate on some names for the next couple. But. Tipsy makes daggers. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. It sounds like names come right off the yeah, oh, yeah. The, the, I'm always thinking about names. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That was quick. Yeah, it was quick. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> so, a, a, anything, what, what are you trying next? Unfortunately, I have to go home. So I, it's been a long day. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say if you were brewing today, it's yeah. gonna be a long day. So. Oh wow. Well, and I had a few samples at the brewery, and then I this, so I had to drive home. Yeah, that's cool. I'm trying to be responsible. Responsible. That's. Yep. Cool. Yeah. I was gonna say. I could stay sorry. here. I could stay here all night and get more. But get get yeah. more inebriated. Yep. But, yeah. But but the unfortunate thing is, is you have to sleep. Right. right. Exactly. <laughs> yep. What is that? Four hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Four hours. You know. So, K- Kristen. Kristen. Yeah. We appreciate you taking a few minutes. You've never. You say you've never done it. Never. <laughs> we make you try and feel comfortable doing. I'm getting more comfortable with comfortable at being uncomfortable. That's so, fine. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Fine. Well, my first time. That's we'll definitely grow. get you guys, you and Steve, and, yep. and get you down to do a full sit down episode. We'd love to have you guys down. We'll come down and do something at your yep. location as well. Sure. So uh, we definitely got to get up there and see Cold Springs. And yep. The Belgian will probably be about what three or four weeks till it's ready. Four weeks. We're gonna hope to have it ready for PA flavor. We'll be at PA flavor in Harrisburg on the fifteenth yeah. of April. That's cool. So yep. we we'll definitely have to put that. In, uh, grab yeah. A, yeah. Grab yeah. a sticker. Yeah. Grab a business card. Yeah, our calendar's getting full, so Kristen, appreciate it very much. Thank you. Grab Thank you so seat. much. Thanks Grab for joining us. Go home and get some sleep now. Yep, I do. <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. So, gentlemen, uh, sitting up here at Big Bottom, we had some guests up pop in, Bob and Kristen, Steve, Steve. And Steve. <laughs> what a great day. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, takeaways. No, I just amaze every place we go. You know, not only just the beers, but the people that, that come and tell us their stories, and it's a nice time. Yeah, we met we met some possible new uh, clients, episodes. So. Yep. Ben, any last words? It's always nice being out and about. Out and about. Out and about. Out and about. Good crowd today. They're gonna have a busy, busy day. Had a busy Friday. Had a. Had a nice Saturday afternoon, and we're rolling in with some music. So, yeah. um, all right. So, come out we, and support this place, Big Bottom Brewery, Dillsburg. Yeah, who are we picking a fight with tonight? No that's shit, amazing. dude. Holy that's nuts. Christ. I gotta go watch that. It doesn't matter I, to me. I'm I, gonna I, sit back and take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's Boy. Dave's that person that sees a car crash and takes out his phone and snaps a photo. <laughs> are well, they okay? I, I didn't look yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I saw. Their social media say the other day about, you know, it's a, no wonder it took Bob this long to go viral or something. I had no idea what it was about. I figured it was like, you know, like spreading the good word of the tap takeover. I didn't know they had a, a TikTok, two TikToks go in the millions. That's, yeah, that's yeah. fucking nuts. It that is, is nuts. nuts. And you know what? Maybe it'll help promote his uh, tap takeover. Absolutely. No we, shit. We I'm look go forward off. to maybe coming back here again next year and doing this, and we'll figure out the live portion of it. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, so, gentlemen, been a good day. What do you say? Cheers. We're drinking the Up All Night Barley Wine. Uh, 8 p.m. Big bottom. 8 p.m. to 11 a.m.? Is that what he said? Or 8 p.m. to 1 p.m.? The, the brew. The brew? 
Shit, he said something. It was a long time. It, it, was, a, it was an up all night job. Yes. So cheers, gentlemen. Cheers, gentlemen. You're out there. Let's raise one with Big Bottom Brewery to tap take over the CPP and let's all be bonded by, by beer. beer. Cheers. Cheers.